so boys today our is the second lecture or the second class second class of uh, economics line journal in this uh, class we will see the different hunting stages different stages of economics life development so let's come to the next slides again boys here the second phase of this chapter we will study economic life and its evaluation first we have to understand what is the what is the meaning of evaluation evaluation means changing progress by the passage of time and you know the meaning of economic or economics so economics life in the history how in the history the people got changing in their economic life evaluation of economic life we will have to see what is the evaluation of economic life so to see these things we have to go through the four stages of economic life the first is hunting and gathering stage pastoral stage agriculture and handicraft stage and industrial stage to understand these four stages let's see a visual clip to make your more concepts very clear when you will go through i believe that you must have the concepts of these four stages so our next visual clip is regarding for this evaluation of economics life let's see this is a brief history of economics so let's get started a long long time ago we had people that were on the earth that were known as hunter-gatherers. Hunter-gatherers were people that would hunt for food uh, and meat, particularly in the form of animals. And they would also be hunt or gathering berries and plants to make up the rest of their diet. Also during this time, these hunter-gatherers lived in caves or temporary dwellings as they had to move around from season to season looking for different food sources. During this time, the food that was exchanged was really food for food. So this is the basis of economics. You had maybe some people trading meat for berries, and that was the extent of economics. Now, because these people had to move around, they couldn't really make any more economic advances because they're really this worried about what food they have. Now, something important happens called the agricultural revolution. And what this really means is that people figure out that you can take a seed, put it in the ground, and a little time later, a plant will grow, which you can then eat. They also figure out that you can take multiple seeds and put them in the ground and really multiply your food. Now this had the effect of farms being developed. And remember those hunter-gatherers living in caves, because they can grow lots of food in one area of land, they can now set up permanently into villages because they have the nearby farms where they can plant their seeds and feed the population that is around. What also happens during this time is food is being used. These hunter-gatherers decide maybe they don't want to do those old things anymore, such as hunting or, or, or farming. Maybe they want to do something more creative. And so another economic activity is added to our history of economics, and that is the creation of tools and goods and services that can be exchanged for food. So during this first agricultural revolution, we have this new element of economics being added. Quite a while later, there's another agricultural revolution. And during this time, people figure out how to use science and math and new discoveries to create more and more food. 
because so much food is being created, there is something called a surplus or more than what they need. Because they have more than what they need, they can box it up and they can ship it to other countries. So villages start to become cities at this point because the villages were sustained by a little bit of, of food. But now since the surplus, more and more people are able to concentrate in one area because if they run out of food, the surplus can be shipped in from other villages and other towns and cities. Another event that happens is called the Industrial Revolution. This is important for us because during this time, people figure out that machines can do the work of human beings. As a result, people start to make factories where goods can be produced en masse and humans are still needed to work there, but they have people working machines instead. Also during this time, people figure out that they can use steam to power or propel vehicles. Now because of the surplus of food and the surplus of goods that are being produced, these steamboats or, or, or different means of transportation lead to a global economy in which goods and services can be transported around the world. That brings us to our current stage in history. So at the beginning we had food being exchanged for food, then we had goods and services, then we have even more food, and then we have uh, machinery and goods being produced en masse in factories. Now we are coming to the point where we have ideas and information spreading around the world. And my question to you is, what do you think is next? What, what is it, the pinnacle of economics with information being traded? So as by way of review, we looked at hunter-gatherers trading food. We looked at the agricultural revolution and how planting one seed can make a difference in where people live and what people do for a living. We looked at industrial revolution and how goods are mass produced and how the economy becomes globalized. And lastly, we looked at the exchange of ideas. Next, boys, we will see hunting and gathering stage. This is uh, one of the stage level we have uh, studied at uh, earlier in our first uh, and second slides. Early stage of human economic life means Stone Age. Hunting and gathering stage, the first point is, it means that when the human was in Stone Age and they were living a simple and normal life without any cause, without any economy, without any machine age. It was a quite simple and natural stage of human life where their only future cause was just to eat and take the breath and nothing. Next is nomadic life. Nomadic life means the normal characters of human living standards. Early normal characters of human life character or uh, activity whatever they have activity in normal life in stone age that is called nomadic life next is hunting animals and food for by uncertain way that human was trying on that stone age to getting food they hunt the animals with uncertain ways uncertain ways means they have no proper mechanism or no proper system to hunt the animals they were trying unorganized without any system without any proper mechanical or machinery tools they hunt the animals next is tool made and they made the tool next is tool made of wood and stones and metals for hunting foods means for hunting animals they made the tools with the uh, wood stone metals these types of material they use to make the tools to hunt the animals. Next is uncertain way of food acquiring animals storing livestock for future food. They have uncertain storing places for the animals. Livestock, livestock means the different types of animals when they gather and when they store in a place for the future foods it is called the livestock are storing of the animals so this was the totally hunting stage hunting and gathering stage thank you
so next stage is pastoral stage pastoral stage pastoral stage stage means storing the animals and for their future food in this stage we will see evaluations of economic life how economic life have been got changes man learned how to store the animals the rear cattle rear cattle means goat sheep cows horse buffaloes buffaloes so these types of animals to storing it is called the pastoral stage human they hunt the food of their cattle they they do roaming place to place for getting feed of animals they search for grass trees leaves and waters so this types of activity is called pastoral stage in the human history of economists the next stage is the agriculture and handicraft stage in this stage we will see how the human have started there to cultivate the land and cultivate the fields to grow the crops and handmade work they have organized their family into tribes groups near the bank of rivers human learned cultivations and handicraft skills development stage it is also called a development stage like they have organized their area into village towns cities they have started making homes herds cottages and they have started learning how to cultivate the crops into uh, organized way of fields they have started making handicrafts products just like pots cutleries crockeries with mud they have learned these types of skills and in this stage the agriculture and handicraft economy has established and they have learned a lot of agriculture and handicraft product making skills thank you next stage industrial stage and developments of economic concepts in this stage the industry the machine age has started and they have learned how to utilize their agriculture product transformations of the new forms of product into machines just like uh, they have learned the structure occupations they have made the tribes they have learned the skills labors concepts has been organized the divisions of labors has been transferred into different industries labors different agriculture labor different man have learned different skills feudal exchange economy and the economy has exchanged in a different way and the feudalism concepts has been established from king to governor governor to their low level uh, officers and then at, at the end the farmers the concept of domestic industry has been launched the people have learned how to make the products domestically their area wise their region wise their uh, where they live they have started make the small industries home industries and next is the concepts of productions in order to gain profit they have started their production to just to get the income and profit so these types of industrial and development economic concepts has been established in the early age of human beings thank you